Last time I was stalked by a very, very feisty iguana. And this time we reached Nassau where I had an appointment with the US Embassy for my visa. And we had some bumpy rides, squally weather and very roly ankles. We are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. So we just left at anchor a little bit late because this lady <laughs> has just become a new grandmother. <laughs> and she can't stop looking at the photos and she had to hear the voice, uh, not of the baby, but of the for daughter. But yeah. <laughs> we managed to anchor, lift anchor because we've got a long sail for Nassau. We got our big, big sails up. And I do have a bungee here, but someone said because it's on a stay, it might break the stay. That's why I'm not, not sure it will, but just for in case, I also made the. Star Wars sheet line as a preventer and then of course that one there prevents as well so the midship cleat that line prevents but this one will also now block it so that the sail don't pull the bungee too hard and break the stain or well, a little bit of these movements I think it makes these movements anyway but this is how the setup works. So now it's pumping and the wind is light. I will not do it in heavy winds, but in light winds. And the reason is, another reason is I'm pushing a little bit on a Genoa side, the wind. So it's not 100%, 180. So the wind tends to go more on the starboard side, the Genoa side. So the Genoa wants to to fold in so but the bungee is then preventing it and as you can see the parent wind is about five six and this one drops many times to eight so we, we're gusting up to 14 but that's and this is now our speed we've got a new cleaning machine so we're going to pick it up in Nassau I hope to clean the the speed lock while it's still in the water and but this is our true speed it's looking good. We're on our way. We're now from Highborn Key. We're now on our way to Nassau. And if you check out the whole thing, there is Florida, there's Cuba. So we are now on our way to Nassau, which is over here. So we are having our cup of coffee. We just, not we last night anchored here in Nassau and this is the harbor, oh, well, over there is the harbor, but <laughs> it's definitely not one of the best anchorages we ever had. Watch it. Every single tourist boat is coming past here at high speed, creating serious wakes. And last night, 12 o'clock, a big pirate ship came past, blaring music at full blast, like disco music. Yeah, we're going to get wakes again. <laughs> uh, like I said, very nice, comfy spot to anchor. Sisu in Nassau. Nassau. So we're gonna go over there to find out if we can leave Tipexi in the morning so that we can go US Embassy hunting. This is pretty much a more industrial area, I think, but there's one block up, which should be where the hype is and talk about being parked between the big boys six of them this is just like 
crazy tight spaces like this dude is trying to either get in here or out of here and it's like a narrow passageway where you can go out skipper knows what he's doing and we have to secure it oh. Rick, I think there's a beer here there it is I think there is a beer in that place. How the hell do we get up? I don't know. I don't know. But You're gonna have to pick me up. <laughs> Luckily, that's this is before the beers. Not sure <laughs> what we're we gonna back, do you when we just, come back. You can just throw me down, roll me down. And it is getting low tide now, so maybe high well, tide. It's gonna you be can... worse. Oh, so what is your name? Uh, Tony. Tony. And this, but this is not the farmer's no, water. No, this is a real boat. Oh, was it a real boat? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it is a real boat. Yeah, we have something called Regattas in Exomo. Yeah. Um, so every year during Easter, you know, different classes of boat would race. So when I found Farmer's Daughter on Potter's Key Dock, it was in ruins. And I found a crane that was willing to try and pick it up, lift it up, up and over the fence and bring it to the brewery and see if we could salvage it and make a bar out of it. I was so happy with how it turned out. It has been a conversation piece. I think the locals, the few tourists we have had in, everyone is enjoying it tremendously. And this is the reason why we stopped. They make their own beer. <laughs> the first place that we stopped in Nassau. Nassau, yeah. Nassau. Nassau, yeah. 100% Canadian. Tell them back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. This is Riptide. Uh, very good brewery, fine beer, micro, what's it, microbrewery or, or craft beer, but yeah, place, I think they need to do something about the acoustics, it's very loud in there, we were two couples and it was very loud. We went embassy hunting the day before as I couldn't afford to be late for my appointment the next morning. The whole story is it took me forever to get this appointment. The first time I applied online, there was absolutely no appointments. And after going online every single day, I finally secured one, but only in a year's time. Then the next step was to apply to have it expedited. So I was very, very grateful that I got this appointment. So we found the embassy. It's somewhere behind this building. And that's quite a busy touristic place and now we're here on the beach. Pretty, pretty local. <laughs> Such a big change of scenery here. So we're on our way to go provisioning in Nassau. 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 Oh. And our battery is at 58%. It should be fine. Just yeah, for the think. shopping trip. <laughs> yep. Okay. And on, I'm coming. And we learned in Nassau that. Oh, no, I need both hands for this. And I've got an injured finger, so it's not easy. We learned that it is better to rather lock up before you go. These bums are insane. So we're piggybacking behind this boat. Oh, look at the birds. To make it ah! oh, less stressful. But it doesn't work that well. <laughs> <laughs> then we found this store. So <laughs> uh, a short stop because we are looking for things. Our lures is already eaten by all the fish. Mm -hmm. Look at these things. Sea witches. So these bags we got all the way from Canaries. <laughs> Let's go with that. 
What we are looking at. We've got 17 knots of wind, so we're going to skip the southern point and we just go straight for Hogtown. That's a cut that we're going into. So that's our first point of entry. And according to this, we've got 15 hours. <laughs> So Pedro is making getting something wonderful in here. I hope it's gonna it's gonna be my my chowder. And we are in pretty crazy seas. <laughs> so and we're, obviously the first night last night was very little sleep, so we're not feeling like the brightest of cherries in the packet. No. <laughs> Not quite there. <laughs> and the seaside is just completely horrendous. Yep. And we try to follow the, the ridge so that we can catch, catch some, some fish. <laughs> but yeah, it is a little bit, a little bit crazy. After a rough day at sea, we decided to have a quick anchor here at Lineard Key and we just stayed the night and pushed off the next morning. Yeah, we're chilling out here, ladies in the rear, the feet in the water. We lost our fluffy mic, so not sure how the voice is going to be. The wind is going to maybe make a ruckus. We just anchored here and over there is a Tiki bar, but since no one is here, it's just us. We're going to go ashore all by ourselves. It's going to be fun. We tried to enter a um, little harbor here on Exumas. The main Exum, uh, sorry, little harbor on Abaco. The Great Abaco Island, which is over there, but it was full. We managed to get this is <laughs> the first time we almost got stuck. Second time we waited for high, high, high tide the next day, and when we finally entered there, no mooring balls. And there's too many mooring balls, you cannot anchor there, even though they say you can anchor. So we came here. And here is Teluki in the Abaco. And it would seem like this is such a cute little private beach, so I think we're going to have our braille. And I'm going to be walking the rest of the beach now. There is cheese. That works. Obviously start a teepee, yeah? And I'm sure this chair you can sit on. There's wood that you can use as a seat and somebody put a grid on this chair to sit on and there's a beautiful selection of conch shells, a hammock and look what I spotted a South African flag I wonder who put this here you can't really see who wrote here. But how cool is this? And here is the barbecue area, the braai area, stuff to clean the grid with. 
Uh -huh. That can work. And it looks like these notes. Let's see what it says. Please seat yourselves. Hope everything comes out okay. Have a nice poop. Wipe it. Real good. I should poop before I got in. Mm -hmm. In other words, don't poop here. And what does this one say? Flush the damn toilet. I don't see any flush toilets, but anyway. Oh, I think this is probably the toilets. So we started a little fire. The vertical bra is ready. Peritero came back from a, from a walk on the beach. Topics Hello. over there. Oh, I need to go this way. Sand dollar. <laughs> Can't you see the sand through it? So Sisius over there. Obviously the sun is setting over there. Topics over there. Look at this. We have some fire going. We have a cooler box. And obviously you cannot you're not allowed to hear that because YouTube have that we have a boom box here. So everything is set. And in the cooler box is some steak, wine, rum. It's promising to be a good, good night. So after bumpy rides and squally weather and rolly anchorages, we were finally rewarded by an awesome braai on an awesome beach. Thanks for watching guys and remember to stay tuned for more on the Abaco. And thank you to all our patrons out there. We appreciate each and every one of you. Going up, we're